Being the only boy in the family is tough, but what's even tougher is having 10 strong-minded sisters. Let's be honest, Lincoln has to put up with a lot, but there are a couple of times when we were truly shocked by his sister's behavior. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss another video, and be sure to check out our community section for even more fun. Now let's check out the times Lincoln couldn't deal with his sisters. Noise? Be gone! White Hair White Hair is one of the most interesting episodes of The Loud House because it introduces the original concept of The Loud Family. And in case you're not familiar with it, The Loud Family was originally meant to be a family of rabbits. But this entire episode just showcases how much Lincoln has to deal with when it comes to his sisters. Lincoln wants to find out a way to change himself to impress a girl. And of course, his sisters want to help. But he knows very well what happens when his sisters try to intervene with basically anything. So he sneaks out. We won't spoil it all for you, but that alone is an example of Lincoln refusing to deal with his sisters. And then there are, of course, the rabbits. Because what's worse than having 10 sisters? Having 25 sisters. It only gets worse as you watch the episode. Of course, it's all masked in jokes and humor, but we really feel for Lincoln throughout this episode. It's not easy being the only boy in the family, and Lincoln knows it. But overall, this episode does eventually end on a positive note when Lincoln realizes the importance of being himself. And just be you. Making the Grade Making the Grade is a frustrating episode for a lot of Loud House fans. We all know the Loud sisters love to intervene with Lincoln's life, but this is one of these few times we've seen them in school. Having Lisa as your classmate is something no one really wants. Sure, she's adorable with her large glasses, but she's also incredibly smart, and this started threatening Lincoln's popularity in school. Lincoln's friends actually turned their backs on him because they realized how much better Lisa was. We're telling you, this is the stuff nightmares are made of. And to make things worse, Lisa decided to change herself because being smart wasn't cool anymore. Lincoln's face just displayed shock throughout the episode. We also see Lisa blaming Lincoln because of her change from smart to not so smart. The Loud Sisters even kick him out of the van after Lisa was unable to answer a geology question. You could kind of tell Lincoln was done with his sisters during this episode, but you couldn't tell how upset some fans were unless you went on to read some of the Loud House blogs. Seriously, this episode isn't a fan favorite and there's good reason behind it. Why is everyone being so mean to Lincoln? Nothing! Get it? Serial <laughs> <laughs> Offender Speaking of most hated episodes in the series, Serial Offender also rubs people the wrong way. If you have a lot of siblings, you know how this episode makes you feel. First of all, Lincoln's parents didn't allow him to do the grocery shopping all by himself, even though he was totally capable of it. But we have no idea why they thought bringing his sisters along would make the experience run any smoother. Lincoln actually ends up getting all the groceries despite his sisters just messing around, but then he gets kicked out over something he didn't even do. And he didn't even end up getting the cereal he wanted. Wanted. His mom even scolded him in the van, even though it really wasn't his fault at all. Seriously, if you ever had siblings, you know how painful this episode was to watch. We really felt for Lincoln, and he definitely didn't deserve the treatment he was getting. Sometimes the Loud Sisters are a little bit much. But don't worry, we're just getting started. There are plenty of more episodes in which Lincoln just couldn't deal with his sisters, and we really felt for him. The Loudest Yard We've discussed this episode plenty of times as there are several problematic moments in it that don't make it suitable for kids. But overall, The Loudest Yard is also a clear example of how weirdly the Loud Sisters treat their brother. In this episode, Lincoln's parents desperately want him to stay away from video games so they sign him up for a football team. Of course, Lincoln's not a football player, so he gets Lola to play for him. In fact, he asks Lola if she could break his leg so he could injure himself and not play at all. Of course, Lola agrees and decides to drive her princess car over his leg, but at the last minute, Lincoln changes his mind and Lola ends up crashing. Seriously, this is an actual episode. The part that's probably the most shocking is when Lola then goes after him because she crashed her car. Lincoln looks absolutely terrified of her. She even ends up fighting him because she wouldn't let him run over his leg. How crazy is that? It wasn't just Lincoln that couldn't deal with this moment, it really went just a bit overboard, even for the viewers. Space Invader 
Space Invader is also one of those episodes that focuses on a single sister and her relationship with Lincoln. To be honest, there are only a few sisters Lincoln really gets along with, but Lynn is not one of them. In fact, Lynn hardly gets along with anyone because she's so competitive. But in Space Invader, she's also incredibly rude to Lincoln after Lincoln lets her stay in his room. Fans have pointed out that although they can be funny with each other, this episode showed how uncomfortable Lincoln gets with Lynn. Sure, she has her sense of humor, but she completely insulted Lincoln's room and didn't even display one ounce of being grateful. And by the way Lincoln looks at her, you can really tell that he's hating it. And then there's the joke Lynn makes about the lack of balls in his room. The small paws and Lincoln's face indicate a clear innuendo. You know, I'm noticing a complete lack of balls in this room. Oh. And the UK version of the same episode actually edited out this scene because it was so inappropriate. Lincoln clearly had enough, but so did Nickelodeon, who decided to put an end to the inappropriate jokes. We really felt for Lincoln in this episode. Luann in general. Bloggers have also pointed out Lincoln's complicated relationship with his sister Luann. There really isn't a specific episode in which Lincoln can't deal with his jokester sister because it seems like he's exhausted every single time she makes a pun. The fans of the show pointed out that Luann and Lincoln don't really interact, but when they do, she just makes jokes and puns. The two don't have an actual relationship with each other, and Luann isn't really aware she can make Lincoln feel uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, she kind of makes everyone uncomfortable when she goes overboard with her jokes. Sure, that's her style, but we kind of wish her and Lincoln would actually get along. Who knows, maybe season 4 will bring us some extra Luann and Lincoln screen time, and maybe it won't all be so negative. Fans have also pointed out that the April Fool's episode from season 1 is the one that convinced them of Luann and Lincoln's weird relationship. Seems like just about everyone is tired of Luann's constant jokes. What do you think? Is Luann being unfair to Lincoln? Do you wish the two had a better relationship? Let us know in the comments. We aren't letting you out until April 2nd. <laughs> Sleuth or Consequences Sleuth or Consequences gives us an insight into Lucy and Lincoln's relationship. While it's not ideal, the two get along a lot more than some of the other members of the household. Although it's very clear that Lincoln totally covered for Lucy in this episode, it's still not fair how he was treated. It all started when Lucy clogged the family toilet, and because Lincoln knows her so well, he knows who did it. He tells her she needs to admit to what she did instead of hiding it and make the situation worse. But for some reason, Lincoln decides to claim responsibility of clogging the toilet, and he immediately gets yelled at instead of Lucy. You couldn't tell he was done with the sisters, but it was one of those moments when we wish he would just really stand up for himself. It was really unfair of Lucy to not admit to what she did and let Lincoln take the fall. It just shows how slightly dysfunctional their relationship can be and we just really don't appreciate how Lincoln was treated here. He basically knew Lucy did it by knowing her too well that his other sisters didn't doubt him for a single second. That's kind of unfair, isn't it? Brawl in the Family this entire episode was extremely difficult to watch. Even though Lincoln isn't the youngest kid, it really does resonate with every youngest kid in the family. All Lincoln wanted to do was get food from the kitchen, but because one of his sisters was cooling off in it after a fight, he couldn't. Seriously, he wanted food and they didn't allow him to go in because someone else had issues with their anger. He then wanted to watch Monster Truck Rally on TV, but his sisters didn't allow him because it would provoke his sisters. Really? He's later told why Lori and Lenny are acting like this. It's because they bought the same dress and are angry at each other because one of them will have to bring it back. Seriously, that was the basis of the entire argument and it meant Lincoln wasn't allowed to enter any room in the house. Sounds a bit unfair, right? Lincoln was clearly flabbergasted throughout the entire episode and we can't really blame him. We still don't know what was going on there or why this was turned into such a big deal. Why couldn't they just cool off in one of the rooms and let everyone else have a normal day? No such luck. This entire episode made us really feel for Lincoln. We're made to believe that Lincoln was actually bad luck, so naturally it's just not a good episode. 
It's actually the second worst episode of the Loud Sisters ganging up on Lincoln. Throughout the entire episode, Lincoln's trying to win back his family trust, even though it's not his fault they lost trust to him to begin with. And it was all because Lincoln didn't cheer for Lynn at her game and made her team lose their winning streak. Later on, the rest of his sisters ban him from witnessing any of their activities, which is really quite sad. Come on guys, does the entire family really believe that quickly that Lincoln's the bad guy in all of this? We really feel for him. Throughout the episode, Lincoln's treated like the worst case ever, and it's really disappointing to see this behavior coming from his sisters. Lincoln, of course, makes sure this treatment allows him to stay at home and play video games. But come on, this was just unfair, and you could see Lincoln was really stressed out for the entire episode. He really does get picked on a lot. But there's one more episode where he could have easily lost his mind. Heavy Meadle in this episode, Lincoln gets bullied at school, and we all know by now that his sisters make the situation even worse. Bloggers have also pointed out that this is by far one of the worst Loud House episodes ever. Fans have pointed out that every Loud sister was so out of their regular character for this entire episode, it really ruins the atmosphere. On top of that, Lincoln also has to deal with trying to separate his sisters from fighting at home, so he really doesn't have it easy at all. There's a moment in which the sister actually look delighted that Lincoln is getting picked on by a girl, and clearly he really hates it. The episode touches on an important issue of bullying, but presents it in a strange way. We later of course learn that Ronnie Ann actually likes Lincoln, which is why she bullied him. But that's definitely not the only reason why someone would bully someone else. Lincoln's sisters definitely didn't do him any favors by not standing by his side when they realized he was getting bullied by a girl. What do you think? Do you have any other Loud House moments in your head that were terrible for Lincoln? Let us know in the comments. And that's it for our video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Things. Thanks for watching and see you next time.